These are the most expensive LEGO minifigures ever released. But before that, let's take a look at the cheapest LEGO minifigure money can buy. This LEGO Spider-Man minifigure is only 64 cents. Now you may be wondering, how is this LEGO Spider-Man minifigure less than a dollar? Well, it was released across 21 sets between 2018 and 2022. So this minifigure is extremely common among LEGO collectors. Now we're jumping from 64 cents all the way up to $70 with this LEGO Phantom minifigure from the LEGO Ninjago series. He only appeared in one set, the Fang Pyre Truck Ambush. This minifigure boasts an extremely rare and unique double-headed snake piece that was created specifically for the Fang Pyre minifigures back in 2012. But unlike his scaly counterparts, Phantom came with an exclusive red lower body tail piece since he was the general of the snake army. Many of the other Fang Pyre soldiers had regular LEGO minifigure legs, except for him. Do you guys think this minifigure is worth $70? I love Phantom, so it's no surprise he's the most expensive LEGO Ninjago minifigure ever released. But that's still nothing compared to the $1,000, $5,000, and even $10,000 LEGO minifigures that we're going to be looking at later in this video. Because for $108, you can buy this LEGO Captain Rex Phase 1 variant. This minifigure appeared on only two sets, the Clone Wars pack and the ATTE. Fun fact, the ATTE only had a shelf life of like three days. I honestly wonder why they removed it. Anyways, both of these sets retailed for over $75, making this minifigure extremely hard to come by. This Captain Rex variant boasts three special accessory pieces that differentiate him from the regular old clone troopers, all in this rare dark bluish color. For $108, this Captain Rex minifigure is honestly a great addition to anyone's LEGO collection. But now let's double that, because for $200, you can buy this unique glow-in-the-dark LEGO Voldemort minifigure from the Harry Potter series. This minifigure was only ever released in one set, the Graveyard Duel, which retailed for $30 back in 2005. That's almost 20 years ago. This minifigure is equipped with a gray Dementor cape and an incredibly outdated Voldemort face printing. I mean, seriously, come on, this new one is way better. But this minifigure is certainly one of a kind and definitely deserves to be the most expensive LEGO Harry Potter minifigure ever released. And if you thought that $200 minifigure was expensive, how about this $450 Chrome Black Darth Vader. Since we're on the subject of LEGO villains, I think it's only right that we talk about this minifigure, which released back in 2009 as part of the 10th anniversary promotional polybag. Surprisingly, this minifigure was never actually released in any traditional sets and was only a limited time release. This shimmering, chrome black variant of one of the galaxy's most beloved characters truly stands out from the standard LEGO Darth Vader minifigures. And since only 10,000 were ever produced, this minifigure is extremely sought after by LEGO Star Wars enthusiasts. And even at a whopping $450, it's still nothing compared to these $1,000, $5,000, and even $10,000 LEGO minifigures that we're going to be looking at by the end of the video. But before that, let's take a look at this exclusive $720 LEGO staff minifigure. As we all know, LEGO is no stranger to these exclusive minifigures. These minifigures have never officially been released in any LEGO sets, but are instead handed out at promotional events. This elusive minifigure, known simply as the LEGO Experience Tour Staff minifigure, which is honestly super mysterious and extremely sought after by collectors. I mean, there's not even any information online on when this minifigure was released or even how many were produced. Using online LEGO Marketplace sites, you can quickly learn how remarkably limited this minifigure is with some collectors listing it at a hefty price tag of $720. Now we're going to take it even further because these next minifigures are worth thousands of dollars. Who even has that type of money to spend on Legos? Well, apparently many Lego collectors because back in early 2010, Lego had the brilliant idea to produce limited edition minifigures for the San Diego Comic Con. These four minifigures were released and handed out to Lego collectors who were present at the convention during a specific year. The first being this $1,400 Bizarro mini minifigure from the LEGO DC comic, which was exclusively produced in 2012, only 1,000 of them were ever released to the public, making this LEGO Bizarro minifigure extremely sought after by serious collectors. Fun fact, 2012 was the last year they released these promotional minifigures in these open packages with 2x2 tile bricks holding them in place. Since they were packaged this way, it made them a lot easier to get damaged. But the following year in 2013, they fixed them to be fully sealed in plastic, which is perfect for LEGO collectors. And if you thought that was expensive, how about this $1,500 LEGO collector minifigure from 2014? Because back in 2014, during the release of the Guardians of the Galaxy film, LEGO released the collector minifigure, which was exclusively released for Comic-Con. Equipped with a unique light gray cape, 
and an exclusive red and purple printing on the torso, the collector is sure to stand out in any LEGO enthusiast collection. I mean, just look at him. This guy's not messing around. The collector minifigure was extremely limited, since only 1,750 were ever made and was only available through giveaways at the 2014 San Diego Comic Con. But it doesn't stop there, because for $1,600, you can get this exclusive Steve Rogers Captain America LEGO minifigure. It was released during the rollout of the Captain America Civil War movie. The the torso printing features a vibrant navy blue and a brown utility belt. Shockingly, LEGO decides to dish the traditional round Captain America shield and replace it with this one of one triangular armor shield exclusive to this minifigure. There's literally only one way to get this shield accessory which makes it super rare. Once again, only 1,750 were ever produced and handed out at the 2016 San Diego Comic Con. No surprise that this elusive minifigure with a one of a kind shield accessory is valued at a whopping price of $1,600. But we're still nowhere close to this $10,000 LEGO minifigure. Because for $1,700, you can get your hands on this LEGO share of Deadpool. This minifigure is honestly one of my favorites so far, and I would love to add this to my own personal collection one day. Subscribe if you agree. This nearly $2,000 LEGO minifigure was produced exclusively at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con, and only 1,500 minifigures were ever produced. That's right, 1,500. This minifigure was released during the rollout of the film Deadpool 2, and it comes equipped with an awesome beige cowboy hat, a hat that's fit for any sheriff, as well as this goofy looking black mustache accessory. The LEGO Sheriff Deadpool is truly a remarkable minifigure for all enthusiasts alike. Acquiring this elusive LEGO minifigure is definitely a tall task though, since it is currently valued at $1,700. Let's take it even further to $2,000, because that's exactly how much this LEGO Chrome C3PO minifigure costs. Since we're on the topic of exclusive promotional LEGO minifigures, I think it's only right that we take a look at the shimmering chrome variant of the galaxy's most beloved droid. This ultra rare and highly sought after collectible minifigure was released in 2007 and was a part of a special LEGO promotion. What makes this minifigure stand out is its very unique chrome plated appearance, which sets it apart from the standard LEGO C3PO minifigures. What may shock you the most though, is that only 100 chrome gold C3POs were ever officially produced for that exclusive LEGO event. This minifigure is considered ultra rare among collectors, and it is currently valued at an approximately $2,000 for that very reason. If you think that's expensive, just wait until you see the $10,000 LEGO minifigure. Okay, enough with all these exclusive promo minifigures, because this $3,000 iconic LEGO Boba Fett minifigure is sure to be the crown jewel in any LEGO enthusiast minifigure collection, or a Star Wars enthusiast. This minifigure was only ever obtainable in one set, LEGO Cloud City, which released in October of 2003 and it originally retailed for $100. This same LEGO set today is worth over $5,800. Now that's just insane. Talk about a good investment, am I right? Much of which is thanks to the eight extremely rare and sought after Star Wars minifigures that were released in this LEGO set. But we're only here to talk about Boba Fett because this minifigure sets itself apart with its unique arm and leg printing, green jetpack, and its gray blaster rifle. This LEGO minifigure based on the legendary bounty hunter from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back is generally thought to be one of the most expensive LEGO minifigures ever released, and it is worth over $3,000 for that very reason. And for some reason that wasn't enough for you, for only $1,000 extra, you can buy this $4,000 Mr. Gold minifigure. It was released in 2013 as part of the LEGO minifigure series 10. These collectible polybags contain 16 different minifigures, but with a twist. Just like the golden tickets from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, an extremely limited quantity of 5,000 Mr. Gold LEGO minifigures were randomly placed throughout the series 10 polybags. While that may sound like a lot, these were produced internationally, and LEGO fans across the world had the chance to find the ultra-rare Mr. Gold minifigure. Equipped with a golden staff accessory and an exclusive gold-plated top hat, this minifigure is truly the symbol of an expensive LEGO. And I think it's no surprise that this minifigure has an astounding price tag of $4,000. This is when things start getting crazy, because for around $5,400, you can get this LEGO Yoda minifigure with a silly New York-themed torso printing that reads, New York I Heart. No, I'm not kidding. Which immediately started becoming a fan favorite among LEGO collectors. This one-of-a-kind LEGO Yoda minifigure was only produced 100 times and released in 2013 during a special LEGO promotional event that was held in New York City. During this event, they unveiled the largest LEGO model ever created, the X-Wing Starfighter. And for those reasons alone, the current price tag for the LEGO Yoda minifigure in brand new condition is estimated to be around $5,400. Remember how I said the San Diego Comic-Con minifigure 
cars came in unprotected packaging until 2013? Well, once they ditched the open packages, they were released in these things called blister packs, which were way more ideal for collectors, because the minifigures got presented in a clear plastic casing, which kept them in mint condition. The first ever blister packs included the $7,000 LEGO Green Arrow minifigure in the exclusive hooded variant. This minifigure was only produced 200 times and was only given out in randomized giveaways at the 2013 San Diego Comic Con. And if that still wasn't enough for you, for an additional $3,000, this $10,000 14 karat solid gold Lego Boba Fett minifigure tops the list. This minifigure is considered a treasure for dedicated Lego enthusiasts with a deep appreciation for limited collectibles. And it was only released at the 2010 San Diego Comic Con with an extremely limited quantity of two. Yes, only two. This extremely expensive minifigure also had two other variants, plastic white and sterling silver. And any collector would be absolutely overjoyed to own these minifix to say the least. The most valuable of the three undoubtedly being the solid gold 14 karat Boba Fett, which has an astounding value of over $10,000. Comment down below which one you can afford, and make sure to subscribe or I'm stealing all your Legos tomorrow.